They are time-honored high school traditions, horrible cafeteria food, and food fights, maybe because the food is so bad. But now, it's gotta be healthy. Big Brother and those cafeteria ladies are counting calories. Those are fighting words, so kids are fighting back. Here's Matt Gutman with a story that's making big headlines this week and giving an all-new meaning to the Hunger Games. Since the creation of Mystery Meat, the school cafeteria has held a certain mystique. Bananas can be served in many different and many attractive ways. A place of grazing and mean girls hazing. Gina, you're wearing sweatpants. It's Monday. So? So that's against the rules and you can't sit with us. Whatever. But the latest lunchroom drama is playing out far from the gilded streets of Hollywood. America is fat, and getting healthy is a national priority. But resistance is popping up all over, from Parsippany, New Jersey, where today students boycotted the new federal school lunch program, and in the unlikeliest place for a mutiny. I know I gave up on food months ago. A tiny rural school in Kansas, the graduating class of just 18, whipping up this musical parody. And it's stirring the pot via YouTube this week on a very national issue. Over 700,000 viewers have watched this video of high schoolers singing about their hunger pangs. Athletes turning into narcoleptics and first graders crawling zombie-like from lack of food. So what's to this musical lament? The video gone viral tells the tale of students who seem to think the smaller portions and healthy fare in the school lunch menus leaves them downright depleted. New federal guidelines shifted the lunch tray around. Gone is the standby of the puffy white roll and the potatoes. Now there are a lot more fruits and vegetables, all the stuff your mother wants you to eat. Except mother now is Uncle Sam, which limits the number of calories high schoolers get to 850. Why? Because a third of our youngsters are obese or at risk of being obese. But the kids here in the land of ruler straight roads and big sky say their stomachs are growling. And they're asking for more, please. Over here. It all started here four weeks ago in oh. Elaine yes, Fisher School Kitchen when this kind hearted lunch lady served up an unappetizingly sad but federally approved breadstick. So I texted Linda, and literally within an hour or so, she had the lyrics written up, and then it just kind of went from there. And that's Linda O'Connor. She's the English teacher who took the hit song, We Are Young, by the group Fun. Tonight, and rewrote the lyrics into We Are Hungry. I can't begin to imagine how many times you must have heard kids complain about school well, lunches. I wonder, how is this different? For 20 years, I've always been prepared for kids being hungry at the end of school. That's nothing new, but I'm not prepared for kids being hungry an hour after they eat. It's the lack of protein and it's lack of carbohydrates that is causing the hunger. Nutritionist Bonnie Taub Dix so says that's that baloney. The, the problem is not so much that not enough food is being served. Perhaps some of the food that's being served is not the kids' favorites. Half your plate fruits and veggies. It's foreign to most kids. That's why they're not eating it. Now I know that this is not all that you got. The uh -huh, famished star of the video is a young cowboy named Callahan Grunt. He's gotten so big around here that his I Love Beef shirt is turning into a hot fashion item. You should get some royalties for that shirt, nah, right? No, I don't need him. I was just too hungry. I may not look like I eat a lot of food, but I eat a ton of food. Those protein cravings ironic since this is the land of beef. Callahan has nearly as many livestock on his ranch as there are people in his hometown of Sharon Springs, Kansas. Population, 800. So how's this working out? In this one school town, lunch lady Elaine has to give the kids, by law, what the government wants. When you have to give a high schooler a whole cup of fruits and vegetables, and they look at that and think, oh. It's really torture, it, isn't it? it? A yes. whole cup of vegetables? Yes. It's yes. a terrible thing. I'll let you guys get back to class. So this intrepid reporter hit the lunch line. Make sure you eat it all today. Today's offer, chicken quesadilla. Inside, a few lonely specks of meat. Gross. It's no wonder teens are tossing the healthy food and turning to the food underworld. Sometimes the outside food is brown bagged and healthy. Look at that, broccoli? Yeah. 
Most often, it's not, and those who can afford it march off to the nearest convenience store at lunchtime. They call it junking up. Secret stashes squirreled away in school lockers. Wow, this is like a refrigerator. This is great. Are these Fruit Loops? Chloe Springfield revealing her stockpile of goodies. And what is this one? Hot Pocket. You're kidding me, this is actually your locker. So it's no wonder fruits and veggies are a tough sell. It's hard for everyone to change their eating habits because as they're called, they're called habits. I'll take a little one. And to our surprise, we discovered that the lower we went in grade levels, the healthier the habits. The little ones even let me in on a secret. Government rules are flexible. We go back and get seconds. Oh, you do? Yeah. Do you ever leave lunch hungry? No. Do you ever go back to class hungry? Never. I need to get some food today. My friends are at the corner store getting junk so they don't waste away. Maybe the teens could take a healthy lesson from the younger kids. Tonight.